Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Idiots in Cars. We begin with number 19, driving on a rush on a wet highway. All right. The other driver was not wearing a seatbelt, so they got thrown around, but they only had minor injuries. That was very just out of nowhere and abrupt. Like, I got to make this lane change. I see that you're there, but I feel like getting pit maneuvered. So I'm going to do that if you don't mind. I feel like there was, um... I can't tell if they lost traction before the swerve started or if they just really wanted to make the exit and then they just turned right into the car with the camera. You know what they say, a great driver sometimes misses an exit. A bad driver never misses an exit. And they, they made that exit, even if it was on the wrong side of the car. This New Jersey driver almost messed up my vehicle. Ooh, very sharp and abrupt. All right. Well, hey, at least we avoided any collision whatsoever. Are you like specifically calling out that it was New Jersey because you're not in New Jersey at the moment? You're in a different state. And so you're like calling out, they're not from around these parts. <laughs> That's why they're driving like that. You learn to adapt to the roads around here first before you go swinging your vehicle through multiple lanes of traffic nearly hitting me. Good reflexes though. Good brakes on the car. Good job. You don't need to get any new pads or rotors. They're doing their job. Good job keeping up on your maintenance. This is always good. Just another day driving home from work. Idiot behind me all over the road and tailgating. Idiot in front of me changes lanes into me and doesn't even react when I beep the horn. That's the scary part. To top it all off, the idiot tailgating me beeps his horn when I slam on the brakes to avoid the idiot in front of me. How did you get in between an idiot sandwich? How did... How did Gordon Ramsay just show up out of nowhere and shove you straight in between the two cars? Oh man, I have to I have to rewatch because like how am I supposed to pay attention to the front and back simultaneously and catch where the thing happens? How am I supposed to watch the road and look at my rearview mirror at the same time? Let's pretend that's what I'm doing. Big truck is behind this this just looks like standard LA following distances to me with the truck that's that's behind. Although in the mono I'm gonna start being scared if people are that close because I'm gonna be like, they may not actually see my vehicle. <laughs> They might just drive over me if I hit the brakes very hard. So, yeah, I'm actually starting to have to ride. Like, I already am a very defensive driver, but I'm going to have to start driving as if I'm riding a motorbike and, like, always making sure that I have an avenue of escape if something goes wrong. And it's, it's a little intimidating. But, you know, we'll have to manage. White car told police she was hit from behind. Oh my God, we have quad angles. How do I keep track? First, we have one angle. Then we have two angles. Now we have four angles. <laughs> I can't. I need two more eyes. White car was driving a suspended license for DUI drug possession of reckless endangerment for a few months ago. Oh, well that sounds like, uh, maybe it's not great. Okie dokie then. Okay, here they go. Vrooman, not having learned from their... I see, so what happened is they rear-ended that car. It's, okay, wait, we gotta see, so it's gonna happen in the upper right. Yeah, they rear-end the truck, and then that goes into your lane. That's nice. White car told police she was hit from behind. Good thing you've got a bunch of camera angles. Like, you've just got an entire evidence locker's worth of stuff to be able to show. Man, look at that. It was clear the invisible boat mobile actually was behind the white car slammed it into the truck there. Do you guys not, you guys don't see the distortion from the invisible boat mobile showing up? Clearly you're not looking hard enough. Karma is sweet. Being cool at a stoplight, I guess. Notice the car behind rolling up their windows from the tire smoke. Are they gonna like break down or is a cop just gonna pop up and be like, yeah, you can't do that. See, I'd be really pissed because that's spraying tire stuff like all over my car. Are they just doing that because why not? Or are they doing that as retribution because they think that the white car wronged them or something like that? I'm just trying to, not that it's okay to do regardless, but they getting pulled over. Oh, they fricked up their wheel <laughs> or their tire. Yeah, it did look like they just made the tire bald, but it's probably just because of like the white edges there. It's not actually that they 
freaked up the tread, but they probably freaked up the tread. Maybe they just wore through it enough that they actually <laughs> caused the tire to like lose enough that it just ate through it and then it went flat. I like it. It wasn't the predictable kind of karma. You know, we were expecting the officer to pop up out of nowhere, but instead they just fricked themselves. <laughs> Who am I kidding? If police tried pulling them over, they'd probably go. And the only reason I think this now every time is because I was once passenger in an Uber ride with a guy who's telling me how I, I usually ride bikes, but you know, we, we do crazy big speeds. He's like, oh, I usually go 150 on the highway. I'm in the back of the Uber. Like, why are you telling me this as a passenger in the vehicle that you're driving? Like, I don't feel good about this. <laughs> and he's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's the cops ever, uh, if the cops ever try to pull me out, I just go. They can't like, what are they going to do? Keep up with a bike that can go through like narrow areas? No, we just run. I'm just like, please get me out of the car. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's like, this thing is so casual. Maybe it was all like a prank to get reactions from people and he had a hidden camera. I don't know. I don't know, man. This 1999 white Honda Civic keeps speeding past this three-way stop in front of my house every week and finally caught him on camera. I don't know him. I just call him a local hot shot. Dang, local hot shot in the Civic. Do we have some narration over here? Not related or friends of this idiot driver, nor do I want to be. You don't want to make a friend, man? It's kind of sad to hear. We could all use an additional friend in our lives. You don't want to be friends with a hot shot? Okay, hide behind the tree. For local hot shots. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, that's, yeah, that's... The stop sign. What the frick? What an idiot. I woke up early to see him. Yeah, that's uh, not, not cool. Who's he honking at now? Is he honking at someone who stopped at a stoplight or stop sign? And he's like, no, you, we don't, we don't stop at those. We just drive straight through. And if we hit another car, then, you know, it's all just part of the game. That makes me like so angry. I don't know. There's something about seeing people do that. that and it happens so often. People just completely ignoring stop signs. I see it all the time. It's crazy. And I'm not talking about, you know, doing the rolling stop. Whenever that happens all the time but I'm talking about just straight up blasting through it and it everything everything has gone up in the amount it occurs since 2020 and it's just it's infuriating because it's like do you do you feel that invulnerable that you think nothing will ever happen to you if you just keep running stop signs like surely no other car will ever be emerging and you just run right into it why why are why are you like this I'm the idiot and this is why you shouldn't speed it could have ended much worse no, do not. Actually, we have the audio on different tracks. No, do not. So we could have, we could have muted the copy strike, but I mean, are you the idiot? I don't think you're necessarily the idiot. Idiot. Why are you calling yourself like you had a green light? It doesn't seem like you're speeding. You look like you're moving along at a pretty normal pace, and and. I don't know, she kind of like jumped out in front of your car when you had a green light. Now, obviously, like, it's good you didn't hit her. You should definitely hit the brakes rather than plowing through her, but I don't know why you're the idiot here. You're being a little too hard on yourself. Like, what are we? Uh, yeah, she's kind of the idiot for walking across traffic when it's a green light. I mean, it's, kinda, it's an unspoken rule that the posters have to grovel about their driving behavior to not get eviscerated in the comments. <laughs> Guys, I know, really, at the end of the day, the fact that I was behind the wheel of the car at all makes me an idiot, and I'm so sorry for showing these mistakes. I have to repent here for you. Watch my video, here it is. <laughs> God cut off for letting him through. I can't tell, like, is he flash? Is he just non-stop flashing lights? I can't tell if it's like camera artifact from like, you know, the flickering mismatch between the LEDs and the frame rate, or, oh, okay, nice. Just, Cool, not enough that you're just flickering your lights on and off over and over. You're just gonna go and veer into the person and nearly pit maneuver yourself, just like the person we saw in the beginning. Not sure what his problem was, I passed a car. He flashed me, so I let him through and he rewarded me with trying to run me off the road. I feel like I've been just super lucky the fact that no one has ever actually tried to like purposely hit me before that I'm aware of. I mean, unless someone's tried to do it and I didn't notice. <laughs> I just like kept driving and I was like, 
And they were like, why didn't he react? <laughs> he must be too strong. I'm not gonna continue this any further. My powers have no effect on him. But I don't know, there's so many crazy people out there. You feel, you see, you, you think that after driving for like 15, 16 years, someone would try to kill you at some point, but I've been lucky perhaps. Idiot thought he was too skilled to crash. Oh, he's still going for it. Like, it wasn't enough that he nearly... Jesus, man. It wasn't enough that he nearly rear-ends the car right there. It's, he has to keep going for it. Like, near miss after near miss. It's not skill. How many times do I have to say... Oh, there, and, and there he's gone. Good job. Ruining two other people's days with your idiocy. As I was saying, how many times... Do I have to say it? Weaving through traffic at high speeds, it doesn't matter. It's not, it's not driving skill. It's not driving skill. Because eventually, something unpredictable completely out of your control is going to get you into a crash, no matter how good of a driver you are. Lewis Hamilton, if he drove like this, weaving through traffic, he's going to get into a crash eventually. It's, it, it's just, it's unavoidable. Don't be an idiot. Oh my God. LA driver refusing to miss their exit. All right, well, here we go. They can't really dis... What are you doing? They were, the the sheer amount of hesitation in not realizing like, okay, do I want, wait, 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 I'm missing the exit, but do I want to take the exit? I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm also, do I want to stay on the freeway or should I do the exit? But I, I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna go over there because it's, it's uh, I don't know, is this the place? Did the GPS, did it want me to take, I, I mean, you can't tell if it wants, I'm gonna pull over to the side here and just figure out my exact route before I continue because I may have to reverse back onto the highway right now. Just, sorry for getting in your way. You can keep, keep it going, keep going. Sorry about that. <laughs> An infinite number of ways that you could have more gracefully done that, even with what? What are they, what are they doing? How did you just freak up your freaking wheels? My God! The insurance said I was liable for this guy pulling into the right lane and then trying to do a U-turn in front of me. Oh no, not this! Oh, here it goes! Oh, here it goes! He's gonna... Yeah, he's gonna. <sighs> I thought it was going to be the first car. That was unexpected. I thought it was going to be this guy in the Honda. But no, it was the Jeep. I feel like there is a world where it could have potentially been avoided. There's a little bit of sand in the middle, so that might have impacted your ability to, like, your grip and, like, braking and steering at the same time. Like, there might have been a way to avoid it, potentially, but it's... I don't fully see how that's your fault. Maybe they're claiming that it's because you hit them on like kind of the rear part of their car that despite the fact that they were doing an idiot, insurance is basically trying to say they were well enough in front of you at the time. You should have been able to avoid it. Clearly you didn't. You didn't give enough uh, room to the car in the lane next to you. <laughs> Sorry. You shouldn't have been tailgating the car in the adjacent lane. That's your fault. Gray car couldn't really wait for me to pass the person in the right lane. All right. Cool. I mean, it seems... What? Are you... Everything was fine. Everything was going totally fine. Like, you could have done the lane change, but then you didn't do the... Why did any of that happen? It's like their their brain just went on break. It looks like everything's good here. It looks totally good. Like, yeah, whatever, you're doing a little bit of a, it's maybe a little bit of a, a an aggressive pass that's going on here, but at the end of the day, no one's gonna get hurt. And then their brain turns off. It just, they exited. They went somewhere else, but the car keeps going. And then they're like, oh shoot, I'm back. <laughs> And then they lose it. Where did they go? I want to know where they went and how they just, like... I don't have trouble sleeping very often, but occasionally, say I've had a little too much caffeine before bed, I'd like to know how to just switch off like that. It would be a useful skill. No, you can't turn left on red. All right, lady driving truck decided to turn left on a red, hitting my brand new car going straight through yellow. Anger ensues. Who's she mad at? Is she mad at you or is she mad at herself for for being a dummy? 
Also, I, I think there's, yeah, there's actually just a sign. No turn on red. If only that sign was facing her direction, then maybe she would have realized that the fact that you have a yellow light here means, yeah, she's just straight up red and it's been red. And she's like, you know what? I don't see any other cars. So I think that in your driving test, they tell you if you don't see anybody else, that the signals are optional. So yeah. Oh, so close, so close. Almost avoided the crash. Dang. I hope that her anger was was at her and not at, at you. And she was like, that. you know what? On second thought, that was really dumb of me to do that. The suicide gap strikes again. I was trying to figure out like what the, oh, it's, oh yeah. I was trying to figure out what the suicide gap is from context and it's, yep. It's the FedEx driver thought he was being nice by seating his right away. Always a bad idea. By the way, the red car was a rental being returned. Ah, uh, it's the worst. They're like, I'm going to be nice. I'll let you. It's kind of backed up. Traffic's backed up. I'll let you through. Do your left turn. It's fine. <sighs> Dude, I hate it. Cause this is, oh, this happens so often. It happens so often too. And then like, they're like waving you through. They're like, oh yeah, I'm letting you through. And you're like, but there's other lanes. Just because you're letting me through doesn't mean everybody, but then you feel pressured because you don't want them to be waiting. And then by the time that it's actually clear, by the time that the lanes do stop, then you, they're like, oh, you're not gonna go? Okay, I'm gonna start going. And you play that game of chicken. That's like when you're walking and someone else is walking on the sidewalk, and you're walking up to each other, you go the same direction multiple times over and over, and then they're going, then you're going, and then it, and then it just never works. You just, just don't be nice when driving. Like, uh, follow the rules, but being like a, a additionally extra nice and like waving people through actually ends up messing things up more usually. So it's, yeah, I don't, oh man. Oh, it pains me, it's painful, it's painful. Somehow he missed me. We've, uh, someone, but so, someone can't possibly be trying to get on the exit now after you're this far away, right? Right, you're basically at the, you're at the street that you've exited to. <laughs> Okay, good. We don't have a person missing there. Dude just looked like he freaking teleported. <laughs> oh my god. That was a missile. Is that person okay? Like, it's not the speed that kills. It's the transitioning from that high speed to no speed in a rapid amount of time that does. Like, holy heck. How did he miss everybody? Like, that's really great for everybody that they did not get hit by an actual 4,000 pound missile. Oh my God. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Exiting 42 North in South Jersey. Oh, is this where the New Jersey thing comes in from earlier? Oh dear. Not even a brain in her head. Wait, why is there? What? Oh God, I got confusing perspective. I thought there was like a tree branch. Like the way the signals look here, it's like, what's happening with the wiser tree branch that's like hanging off here? <laughs> anyway, let's look at what's actually going on here. All right, not even a brain in her head. No thoughts, head empty. All right, turning out of the thing. Is it, they make a U-turn, a nice, a nice quick U-turn across. Uh, we like to see you always got to give yourself you know a lot of cars don't have a great turning radius so you got to make sure that if you're going to make a left go all the way to the right side of the road so that you're absolutely positive you're not going to have to do a three-point turn that's always the if you're taking your your driving test and the driving instructor tells you okay we're going to make a u-turn here always like preferably get into the parked cars on the right and then make your U-turn and I'll be like, that was so smart of you to do because now you made sure that you had the turning radius, right? Definitely this is the way. She told insurance I drove in her lane. After two years of having dash cam, finally came useful, excuse my language, but me and the guy behind me were pissed. She told insurance I got in her lane, but once the claims adjuster saw the footage, she accepted the full liability. All right, who's the guy? Oh, you're trying to make a left from like not the left lane. Yeah, and then of course you go and lie about it because <laughs> clearly you can do nothing wrong in in life. Yeah, I yeah, know that that makes sense. Why is it so often that people are just happy and ready and willing to lie about what happened in a crash? It's just wild to me how it almost always seems to turn out this way. When you talk to friends, when you talk to 
when you look at the Reddit comments, which is a definite sampling of like everybody in real life. Um, <laughs> anecdotal evidence is always definitely good. I will say that if you're go if, if you're going like really defensive driving, this may have been avoidable just because it's like you might see, okay, they have their blinker on and they're kind of looking like they're being an idiot right now. So I'm going to just kind of back off a little bit because if they're going to be an idiot, I still don't want them to ruin my day, even if it's their fault. So, but anyway, this is my local hotshot. I'm glad we have the context for this. All right, here we go. Vroom, vroom. Wait, was it a Honda again? It's another Honda. Let's go. Maybe they know each other. Maybe they're part of the same club, dude. Oh yeah, just heading over into the opposite side traffic. Let's go. Huge plays. Sick, sick passes, dude. Oh, he's going to drift. Oh, man. Now that's how you pull up to a red light. Holy style. Oh, my. <laughs> well captured. What an ending. Couldn't have asked for anything more. Thank goodness we had the dash cam to capture that one. Oh, boy. God. He's just practicing for his... Uh, his session on the racing sim later. You know, the best way to practice for the racing sim is to go drive like it in real life, you know? And then you can get on Grand Theft Auto or something like that, or the racing sim, and you'll be better. It's a good way to improve your your skills there and stuff. <laughs> and the top for the last month, Impatient Idiot overtakes and crashes. All right, we've got, oh, is he stalling perhaps? It's like my number one worst fear in driving a manual transmission is stalling and then people are honking at you. They're like, oh, okay. Oh, of course it's the G35. Oh man, I'm sorry. They're, I don't like to be stereotypical, but there really is something about G35s. <laughs> there really is. <laughs> um, yeah, he's probably like, why is this idiot not, not moving? There's clearly no one in front of him who'd be holding him up, like a motorbike who might be stalling or something like that. So there's this thing though in the in the mono where because it's actually a a race gearbox, it's a sequential race gearbox, and sometimes it doesn't it doesn't actually want to pick first. Like you, if you go into neutral and then you try to engage first, it'll just be like I don't want to because you'll have these, sorry, I'm getting in technical and you're just tuning out right now, but it has straight cut gears. And so occasionally the gears just, instead of instead of this, like linking up, they go like this, they go like that. And so you're trying to engage first and it's just like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna. And I'm so worried I'm just gonna get stuck one day in traffic at a light and people are gonna be honking like this idiot doesn't know what he's doing. I'm like, I swear to God, I know what I'm doing, but it's just not going into first gear. So yeah. That's a, it's a big fear, stalling, man. That's not even stalling, that's just like, can't even get into first, but yeah, yeah. Anyway, gotta, gotta have a little patience out there, you know? It's always nice. So anyway, that's it for the last month of Idiots and Cars. I hope you've enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.